What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are talking about Jones Road Beauty. I've been meaning to do this review for quite some time now. I have a couple of products that I've been testing from the brand. I'm going to go through each of them one by one. We're going to do a full face. I have demos, I have swatches, and of course, I'm going to give you guys my completely honest thoughts. So if you guys have been interested in Jones Road Beauty, don't worry. I've got you covered. We're getting into it right now. Okay, party people, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will have all these products linked in the description box down below in case you would like to shop. Shopping through my links is a great way to support my channel. I do use affiliate links. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia. I am a complete beauty addict and I upload videos every single week. So if you love new makeup reviews, if you love clean beauty, brand roundups like this, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button to join our fam. And without further ado, let's chat a little bit first about Jones Road Beauty as a brand. This is a relatively new brand on the market. I feel like it had a little bit of a sleepy launch. And then within recent months, some of the products have gone viral on social media. So a lot more people know about it now. If you don't know, this brand is founded by Bobby Brown, the famous makeup artist. I don't think she's affiliated with her original namesake brand, Bobby Brown. She recently started this one, and as far as I know, she's creating a lot of products that she's always wanted to create for Bobby Brown, and now she's doing it for Jones Road. This is considered a clean beauty brand, whatever that means to you. So there's a lot of ingredients that they omit for their products, and the aesthetic of Jones Road is very natural. It's very kind of no makeup makeup, clean girl enhancing your own beauty. It's not supposed to be very exaggerated. It's not that kind of makeup artist brand. So kind of keep that in mind as we go through each of the products. I have five products to talk about today. A lot of them are some of the most popular ones on the Jones Road site. And the first product that we're going to be talking about today is none other than the very viral What the Foundation. This retails for $44 and I'm using the shade Light in all of the demos today just in case we are a shade match. It's a very polarizing product. If you either love it or you hate it, it is described on the Jones Road website as a tinted moisture balm meets traditional foundation. Blends seamlessly into the skin, leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best day. It's definitely not like a traditional foundation and that's kind of the whole point of this product. It's kind of like skincare meets foundation. It has a pretty light coverage, almost like a skin tint. It's supposed to make you look like you're not wearing makeup. You don't have anything cakey. It never really gets dry. I like to apply this with my fingers and really work it into the skin. That's what was recommended to me by the makeup artist at the Jones Road Boutique. Like I said, very light coverage. It kind of feels like skincare. It also has a little bit of like an herbal scent, if that makes sense. It feels like I'm rubbing in a night cream or like a cocooning moisturizer that I would apply in the evening to kind of hold in the moisture and soothe my skin overnight. Because there's so many hydrating and emollient ingredients in this formula, it does keep my skin nice and hydrated. It really kind of locks everything in. And I was very kind of skeptical about the wear of this product, but you know what? I've tested this several times on hot days, going around and running errands, traveling, that kind of stuff. And I'm actually pretty impressed by the way that it wears on my skin. I don't think it really breaks down too much. Again, it's very light coverage, so it's not going to be like a lock and load type of foundation that really like clings to your skin. It doesn't really settle into my lines. And if it starts to, I can always smooth it out a little bit because it is so creamy and hydrating. I didn't feel like it really broke up on my skin. This is the kind of thing that I would wear on a kind of no makeup makeup day when I am doing something very light. I am wearing it on my face today and you can see some of my imperfections, but that being said, it kind of looks like I'm having my best skin day ever. The biggest thing that I think you need to consider and that is going to be a huge con for a lot of people out there is that this really never sets down. It stays very moisturized and emollient all throughout the day. I've worn it many times and you really never lose that type of feeling. And you'll see in the demo, this is something where your hair is going to stick to your face. It just really never sets down. So please consider that. I think that's kind of the biggest con for this foundation is that I just don't really see myself wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I like it for those sort of easy no makeup days. You can powder it, you can, but I feel like this foundation works better with cream products layered over top. You'll see with the next products that we're gonna be talking about, it makes it super easy to kind of blend those products on top. You can powder it, 
but it kind of defeats the purpose of the foundation, which is to give you that super natural hydrated look. So it's up to you at the end of the day, friends. I actually don't hate this. I thought I was going to hate it. I don't know why, because I've seen a lot of polarizing reviews, but I actually kind of like it. I think the thing that I keep coming back to is just that I do have a lot of foundations in my collection that give me kind of a similar vibe, but that I like a little bit more. For the $44, I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to spring for that. Some of those other products that I like are, for example, the Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation gives a really nice dewy effect without the stickiness. I also really like the Tinted Moisturizer from Chantecaille. I really like the new Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Tint. And of course, I also really love the Chanel Water Fresh Tint, which is water-based. So you're not going to get that kind of oily feel. So those are a couple of suggestions I have. If you kind of feel like this isn't right for you, I will link those down below. But all in all, I don't really hate this product. It's just I already have a lot of things in my collection that I can use instead of this that I think I like just a little bit better. Next up, friends, we have the Face Stick. These retail for $25 each. I have shades one and two. I will show you guys the swatches right here. Shade one is a little bit peachier, so I tend to use that under my eyes. And then shade two is a little bit more neutral, so I kind of use that around the rest of my face. I will mention, friends, that Jones Road did gift me both of these, so thank you so much, Jones Road, for letting me try out this product. This is called the Everything Stick for a reason. I actually really like these. They're incredibly versatile. I use them all over my face. I think that this is a great concealer for those days, once again, where you want a super natural look. You know how a lot of times you don't really want to wear a lot of makeup, but you need concealer. You need to cover up your dark circles. At least that's how I feel when I have my no makeup days. But if you go in with a regular concealer, maybe one that has more coverage, it sort of looks a little bit silly. You can clearly tell that you're wearing concealer. I like these because they have such a natural look to the skin. They really do look skin-like when applied. It doesn't look super obvious. I like to apply these by drawing them straight onto the face and then melting them into the skin with my fingers. And I'm kind of shocked a little bit, just like with the What The Foundation, I was surprised by the longevity of these. I thought that maybe these would be crease city, but they actually have pretty good longevity. If you have some deeper lines around your eyes, I do think that the product will settle in a little bit. It's kind of like a cream to wax formula, so it stays very hydrated, but it clings to the skin very well. And because it's a pencil, you can be very precise with your placement. So if you don't want to apply a lot and you really just want to get it right where you need it, you can do that. It's kind of fun to use. It kind of feels like I'm a little artist and I'm kind of very carefully, you know, covering just the little parts that I need. When I'm using it under my eyes, I will just trace right along that kind of bag area, pat that in, and it looks like I have no dark circles. It looks incredibly natural. Now that's what I like to do on no makeup days, but kind of on the reg when I'm doing my my usual type of makeup. What I like to use these for is for touch-ups. I love to use these to sort of sculpt and define the brows. I like to use them around the mouth because I do have a little discoloration around my lips. Maybe I'm going in with a lipstick and I don't want that lipstick or that lip gloss or whatever to bleed and I want a very crisp line. These are good for that. I keep them in my purse, so kind of throughout the day. If I feel like I need to smooth anything out, I just go in, I cover it up, I melt it into the skin. Another way that you can use these as well is you can pick up a darker color and you can use it as eyeshadow. So you can kind of use it to like contour the eye or even contour your nose. So this really is the everything stick. You can use them for so many different things. And even if I'm doing a super light look with maybe the What The Foundation, once I get these sticks on my face, I feel so much more perfected, but I still feel very natural. So I actually really like these. Comment down below if you guys have tried these, if you have felt that the longevity is just as good as what I have experienced. This is definitely one of my favorite products from Jones Road. Next up, we have the bronzer. This retails for $35 and I have the famous Dusty Rose shade. I know, a pink bronzer. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. I actually do have a full review already on my channel of this bronzer. So if you wanna see more comparisons, if you wanna see more demos with this, I will link that review down below. I told you in my review, I actually really like this bronzer. It's very silky and I particularly love the shade, specifically the Dusty Rose. This is the only shade that I have, but I really like it. Being very fair, 
This kind of reminds me of the color that I get to my skin naturally if I'm out in the sun, if I get a little bit flushed. It's a really pretty romantic shade. I actually have it on my eyes right now. I wear it as eyeshadow all the time. A lot of people ask me, like, Sophia, is this... Is this just a blush? But I don't know. I've compared it with a lot of blushes that I have in my collection and the formula is just different. It really does feel like something that is meant to be spread all over the face and the color just doesn't match up with other things that I have in my makeup drawer. I do really enjoy it. It's very silky. It's very blendable. It looks very natural on my fair skin. This is the lightest shade that they have in the lineup. It is designed for fair complexions. But if you are tanner than me, you can absolutely use this as a blush or kind of like something that you can layer on top of a bronzer if you want to not only toast your skin, but give yourself like a very natural romantic flush. Now some call outs that I wanna make about this bronzer are that although it's silky, it's silky because it's made with cornstarch. This is clean beauty, so they're not using any talc. And so they replace the talc with cornstarch. Cornstarch has a very like soft, powdery, finely milled silky texture which is nice. It goes onto the skin really nicely, but it can get a little bit messy. You get a lot of kick up in this pan and sometimes you have to work a little bit harder to control where the color goes, specifically if you have kind of like a very dewy base. I don't really like the way that this works with the What The Foundation. I am using them together in the demo. I feel like I have to do a little bit more work buffing it into the skin and the What The Foundation is so sheer that I almost feel like I'm buffing it away. So I don't really like to use them together, but I do like to use this with other foundations in my collection, ones that are a little bit more on the matter side or just not like so dewy and so oily on my skin. Some people have said that because it's so powdery, they have hit pan quicker. I haven't had that experience. I'm pretty light handed. I only use a little bit, but some people have mentioned that. So bottom line, I really like this. I like it because the color is unique. I also enjoy the formula, but I do have to be a little bit careful when I'm picking this up with my brush and I can't use it with any kind of super dewy foundation. The time has come, friends. We gotta talk about the Jones Road Miracle Bomb. The time has come. What do I think of this product? What is this product? Okay, I was very confused. It's a very polarizing product. Some people absolutely love it and some people don't get it. I did ask a lot of questions when I went into the Jones Road Boutique because I wanted to give this product a fair chance. It retails for $38. You do get quite a bit of product, honestly, like a lifetime supply of Miracle Balm. So it's a pretty decent value. The shades that I'm going to be demoing for you guys today, by the way, are Miami Beach, Sunkissed, and Tawny. I have a mixture of Sunkissed and Tawny on my cheeks today. And on the Jones Road website, this is described as a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance skin. And I actually think that is a pretty good description because they don't say that it's a soft focus wash of color. They say it's a wash of moisture, okay? So I think that with this product, you can't really think of it as a traditional cream blush or cream bronzer or lip balm or lipstick. It's not just about the color, it's also about the texture. You can kind of think of it almost like a makeup and skincare hybrid. And once again, it's going to be very much kind of that enhance what you've got, no makeup type of look. It comes in a tub, you know, it's called the Miracle Balm. So it is a balm. It's made with a lot of different oils and waxes. It has that kind of same rosemary oil type of scent that the What The Foundation has. Once again, I don't find it offensive. I kind of like the scent. You need to dig your finger into it. You'll see me doing it in the demos. You need to dig your finger into it to kind of break through the seal so you can pick up enough product so that it has some pigment. If you just rub your finger on the top, you're like not really gonna get much, so that's why you need to do that. And you know what? It has a lot less pigment than you would think. When you look at this, I'm holding up the tawny one right here. This looks like it's gonna be super dark, but when you see it here on my cheeks, it obviously is not. You can definitely go darker than you think. It's pretty transparent, almost like if you took a thicker form of Vaseline and you mixed in 
some lipstick or some eyeshadow. It's really very, very light. I like to apply this either with my hands because it's kind of how it's designed to be used, but also today I did use the BK Beauty 101 brush. I really like this for cream blush. And I do feel like this was a little bit less messy and also quicker. Let me show you guys real quick the three shades that I have for those of you out there who are looking for swatches and for demos. The first one that I have here is called Miami Beach. I believe this is the most recent shade that was launched this year. This is described as a warm peachy coral. I do like that this one, it kind of functions as more of a blush. The color is very delightful. It gives a lot of life and brightness to the cheeks. It does kind of remind me of like a tropical vacation. I love the name Miami Beach. I am a little bit concerned that maybe this doesn't show up so much on deeper skin tones because it is very light. I love the color, but I do kind of wish that it had just a little bit more pigment. It doesn't have as much shimmer as well as the one that you're going to see next. So I would kind of recommend this one if you are a little bit more on the fairer side. I do really like the color, but I wish it was just more pigmented. Next up, we have the shade Sunkissed, and this is described as a deep reddish bronze. The thing I like about this is the shimmer. I get a lot more shimmer and warmth from this one. You can kind of use it almost in place of a bronzer. I will say you have to be careful because it's very balmy and if you put this all over your face, like you would your bronzer. You know, your face is gonna get pretty sticky pretty quickly, but I do really like the tone of this one. And I really like that kind of shimmery summertime glow that I get from it. The next color that I have is called Tawny. It's kind of similar to Sunkiss. It's described as a reddish brown as opposed to a reddish bronze. This has more of a red undertone. It's not gonna be as shimmery as Sunkiss. And so you don't get as much kind of multi-dimension and blurring to the cheeks. This one I thought was gonna be my favorite, but it actually ended up being my least favorite, unfortunately. Like I said, there's not a lot of shimmer and it doesn't really have as much pigment. I feel like I have to keep picking more and more up to really build up the color. So if I do use this one, I kind of use it like I do in the way that I did today, which is that I just kind of layer it on top of Sunkiss to give a little bit more of like a blushed effect. And I'll show you guys right here. You can kind of see the differences between the two on my cheeks. I specifically wore them together. So you could hopefully see the differences between the formulas that are a little bit more shimmery and the ones that are less shimmery. And then finally, friends, here are all the shades swatched on my hands. So you can kind of, you know, once again, tell the difference between them. We have Miami Beach, we have Sunkissed, and then finally we have Tawny, which is a little bit redder. So what do I think of the Miracle Bomb? I wanna call out a bunch of things that I think you should know. The first thing is that they say that you can layer these on top of powders and the Jones Road makeup artist did show me how I can do that. She demonstrated, you know, you really just have to kind of gently pat and kind of press it into the skin. You can do it, but at the end of the day, I don't really feel like it works that well with powders. I have to be honest, especially if you are wearing a light base like the What The Foundation. You guys might have seen in the Miami Beach demo. I'm actually layering this on top of what was the What The Foundation and then a layer of the powder bronzer. It works but I kind of feel like it totally removed the powder bronzer. You can see straight through onto my skin. You can see the hyperpigmentation that I have there. I don't think it looks bad, it looks very natural, but it kind of defeated the purpose of applying a powder product. It really doesn't make sense to layer this with powders. It's gonna get pretty gunky. I would sort of be afraid that my brushes might get too much product buildup. And if I go and I use those brushes with other products that I have, in my makeup bag that I'm gonna get hard pan with those. So I don't, I personally don't recommend that you layer these with powders, even though it says you can. I also think that applying these, if you use your fingers, it's a little bit messy. Like sometimes it takes me a while to like really pat it into the perfect placement. I did like today, I finally just caved and used a brush. I, I liked applying it with the brush. I thought it was a lot quicker. I don't have time in the morning to be like applying this with my fingers. The whole point of this is that I kind of want like that quick, no makeup, natural type of look. That's what you should be using this product for. It doesn't really look right to me if you have a full face of makeup and then you put this on top. It goes well 
with most of the other Jones Road products. The other thing, which I kind of alluded to earlier, is that I would recommend actually going darker than you think you need to go with. Some of the shades are very light. They even have one that has no pigment at all. I don't know, comment down below, are you using that as skincare? I would love to know. It does make a fantastic lip balm, actually. I did mix the Sunkissed and the Tawny colors together right here, and I made my own little custom lip balm, which I have on my lips right now. I really like it as a lip balm, so I will mention that, but I think that you can go a lot darker than you think. These don't have that much pigment, so if you're looking at this on the side and you're like, oh, whoa, it's so, so dark, don't be afraid. My other recommendation is go for a more shimmery product. I mentioned before, I like Sunkiss more than this one, which is Tawny. If you hold these up to the sun, they all have some shimmer, right? Because they all kind of blur the face, but I think that the shimmery ones are more unique and kind of give you that fresh glowy look that you're going for. The ones that don't have as much shimmer just like don't have that much pigment. They don't have enough pigment for it to be worth it to me. I can just go and get any other cream blush that I have in my collection. I think this is a lot about the texture and kind of like that dewy moisture look that you give the skin. And when you have the shimmer, it really kind of emphasizes that pretty look. What else, what else? It stays balmy all day. Like it does not set down, friends. This is like putting chapstick on your face. It's not going to set down at all. Like I said, I don't really recommend powdering it. It kind of defeats the purpose of having it. And I have to be honest, friends, I can deal with the dewiness and the moisture of the What The Foundation. That's a lot more subdued. I can't really deal with this, at least if my hair is down. Don't go near your cat if you're wearing this. Oh my gosh, like when I first started testing this, I have a cat, she's shedding like crazy right now. It's summer and inevitably I get cat hair on my face. It's just inevitable. And then I think the thing that annoys me the most about this product, because that's fine, like it's meant to be a balm, that's the whole purpose. The thing that I don't really like about it the most is that there is no longevity to the color. If this lasted all day, I would definitely wear it more often. I'm gonna have to just wear this if it's like a couple hours type of a thing, like I'm going for a walk and a, like, you know, have a nice little natural like coffee date or something along those lines. I just can't count on this to last, I don't know, more than three hours. I applied the makeup that's on my face an hour ago and I still don't really feel like there's much there and you can definitely see Oh, something stuck. <laughs> something is stuck to my face. I don't know. So at the end of the day, given the price, $38, like I bought three of these. One of them actually was gifted to me by Jones Road in a set. So I'll mention that I got the Miami Beach one in a set. But originally I did purchase three of these shades and it was pretty expensive, pretty expensive for what it is. So it really isn't my favorite. I know a lot of people like it. I'm calling out all these things because a lot of people do find a lot of use out of it and they like the look of it. But for me, I rather just reach for a cream blush. In fact, I think a really good alternative to this are those new Makeup by Mario cream blushes. They have a really nice dewy look to the skin. It's not gonna be as dewy as this, but they have great longevity. So I'm gonna be linking those down below in case you're looking for more of a traditional cream blush. But this, I'm sorry, Jones Road is just not doing it for me. I don't think I am the target audience for this product. And last but certainly not least, I have the Jones Road Mascara. This retails for $26. I have the shade Pitch Black. I believe that is the only shade, at least for now. I would love to see them come out with a brown color. I think that would be really nice. This is one of those clean beauty, long lasting formulas that I really enjoy. I actually quite like this mascara. It has a curved brush that deposits a lot of pigment onto the lashes and also lifts the lashes as you rake that color through. It's actually very volumizing, more volumizing than you would expect from Jones Road because everything, as I mentioned, has been super duper natural. This actually gives a lot of volume. You guys will see from the demo kind of the before and after, after I do two coats compared to nothing at all. It's a beautiful fluttery mascara and I definitely think that it has good longevity. I think the call outs that I wanna make about this is that number one, just because of the shape of the brush, 
it does deposit, I mean, I mentioned this, it does deposit a lot of pigment, sometimes too much pigment. So I do think you need to be kind of careful sometimes when you're raking this through your lashes. You can't be super duper cavalier with it because then you're gonna get way too much way too quickly. So I just kind of take my time. Also, just personally for me, I don't hate the brush, but I usually, I usually go for a much more narrow taper type of brush because it gives me a little bit more control. I feel like this brush, it can be a little bit difficult to kind of to be precise, to do the lower lash lines or sort of the corners of the lash. It's one of those big brush mascaras that gets you a lot of volume really quick and a lot of people like that. And then the last thing that I wanna say about this is that while I do think it has good longevity, it doesn't have a lot of great longevity with the other Jones Road products. And what I mean by that is like the What The Foundation, for example, or any of the other glossy products, if you have anything super creamy on your eyes or around your eyes, it does kind of flake off. It doesn't smudge because a lot of these clean formulas, they're kind of like a tubing formula or close to it, but you'll see that you kind of get little flakes and bits. So I don't necessarily recommend, I know this is weird, I don't necessarily recommend wearing this if you're having like a very glossy moisturized look. But for me, for every day, it's perfectly fine with the rest of my makeup and I think it's a really good mascara. All right, friends, those are my completely honest thoughts after thoroughly testing these five Jones Road products. I did order the new gel bronzer, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you wanna see that review. And now it is your turn, friends. Sound off in those comments down below and let me know if you've tried any of these, what has your experience been? Your opinion is worth just as much as mine. A lot of these products are very polarizing. So if you like any of them, let us know why. Let us know how you like to use them so we can all share our opinions and kind of teach each other. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. All of the products will be linked down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.